Good evening, Club 17, and hope you're doing well today and staying safe out there. Keep washing those hands and do all the other things that our CDC and the health experts are saying. Today, I wanted to uh, talk about a few things as we all maneuver around this unprecedented crisis that we're living within. But I wanted to give an update on the status of the club, meetings, and activity. And I wanted to also, secondly, uh, give you a little bit of information on what's going on in the club to keep us all engaged. And lastly, and most importantly, I want to talk about the action that your board of directors took yesterday to respond to the local needs in this crisis. So first off, let's talk about the current status of our club. Linda's been working feverishly to reschedule speakers and events, and she's gonna be communicating all the different changes to our committee chairs to make sure they're advised in the revised schedule. The reality is that we probably won't meet until the end of April, and um, hopefully I'll be pleasantly surprised and we'll be meeting sooner. But in the interim, we're gonna be conducting our meetings uh, virtually using Facebook Live. And our first meeting will be held on April the 2nd using that method. So stay tuned for more information that will be coming your way. So let's talk a little bit about member engagement. We're working on a variety of different ways to uh, keep our membership engaged while we're not meeting. I'm also networking with a variety of other large club presidents from Nashville, from San Antonio and Indianapolis to learn more about their plans and to brainstorm new ideas with them as well. So if you have any creative ideas that you'd like to share for us to implement to keep our membership engaged, feel free to reach out to uh, Linda or myself. One area that we just kicked off was the uh, March Madness What If Raffle. And today, Christy drew all the uh, 68 teams and anybody that knows me knows that I think that basketball is the greatest sport ever. Um, and personally, I'm going through a little bit of March Madness withdrawal right now, so the timing of this uh, this bracket couldn't be more perfect. So let the trash talking begin, as they say. On a more serious note, I've asked our board of directors to reach out to each one of their assigned committee chairs to make sure that they're providing their support. And it's very, very important for our committees to continue meeting, whether it's via conference call or a virtual meeting, to continue our business of, of Rotary and making sure our mission is continuing and Rotary's in high gear. We also have a, a little bit of uh, uh, great news to, to share with you tonight. And I wanted to let you know that our World Affairs Committee has successfully applied for and received an $89,000 Rotary International and District Grant for the Madagascar Healthy Village Project. Awesome news. I'd like to congratulate the entire team, but also especially Ariel and Hux Miller and Barbara Dickerson for maneuvering and managing this grant process, which was not easy. So congratulations to everyone. That's gonna be an amazing project that we'll be able to provide good to those in need in Madagascar. And now for the most important part of my message tonight, and that is I wanted to share some really decisive action that your board of directors took yesterday to begin addressing this health crisis in our community. As many of you may know, over the years, we've had a rainy day fund in our club to cover expenses that are um, may be incurred during difficult times. And this rainy day fund has been invested along with foundation assets by our asset management committee and invested in the market. And since the 2008 recession, the bull market has been very, very good to both of these investment portfolios. And over the last couple months, our board of directors has been talking about ways to put those dollars over and above the rainy day fund the good work in our community. And obviously with this health crisis that's come about and the resulting economic needs that uh, many in our com community will need and especially those in the inner city, our board met yesterday to discuss how our club can respond to those in need. And we spent uh, a couple hours talking about a variety of different ideas to, to really help those in need. And our main challenge as, a, as an organization is that we are people of action. Normally this means that in addition to funding a project, we wanna be feet on the street, we wanna actively be involved and, and provide hands-on service to those in need. And given today's situation, that's not really practical from a safety perspective. Additionally, we're not really structured to be able to uh, provide the infrastructure to directly help those in need as well, the way that some other nonprofits are. 
So yesterday our board discussed a variety of different projects and I'm happy to report tonight that our board has, has approved making a $50,000 donation to the St. Vincent de Paul Homelessness Prevention Fund. And the purpose of this fund is to help those who have been or are about ready to be evicted with rent assistance so that they can stay in their homes and protect their families. Many of these families have young children that truly need our help. And keeping them in their homes will provide safety and health during this, this challenging, crazy time that we're living in at this point. Preventing homelessness also ensures that these tenants don't end up in shelters, which is astronomically more costly than rent, rent assistance. So I'm really proud of our board of directors for making a very solid decision and acting swiftly to help those in need. And we're just getting started. And there'll be more information that we'll be sharing about this donation here in the next several days. So tonight in closing, today's actually the first day of spring, which to me signals signs of hope after many years where we would have a long dreary winter. And while our lives have been disrupted by this crisis, I personally choose to look at these signs of hope that will get us beyond this crisis as quickly as possible. We're really all people of action and each one of us can also do things that can individually support those in need. So don't forget about that el elderly neighbor who may not be able to really deal with this crisis and others who may not be able to financially deal with the crisis as well. We can be helpful to them individually. And also don't forget to pick up the phone and, and call your Rotarian friends, especially those that you think may need your help because we can truly help on an individual level as well. Some of you may have heard about a marketing genius uh, by the name of Seth Godin. He's written numerous bestseller books on the topic of marketing. And I happen to get his daily blog post in my inbox every morning. And today I received his blog post that was titled Today, and I'd like to read it to you. It's a very brief post that um, I think is, is very pertinent for where we are today. So today, we only get it once, so why waste it? We can spend it in fear, or we can create possibility for the next person. We can spend it alone, or we can create real connection with someone else. It only takes a day to make change happen. And he concludes this blog post by saying, the ocean is made of drops, which is so true. So today, Rotarians, go out and make today count, and please stay safe and healthy out there. And I truly can't wait to witness the buzz in the Hall of Mirrors when we can meet again. Good night, everyone.